I want you to watch this. So she's protecting him from a bunch of cops, knowing that the cops are less likely to shoot this black man if she is standing in front of him so that they can't claim anything. And then she goes with him so that she can, they can give up. First, let me say kudos to the young lady who recognized the situation that her man was in. That with that much anxiety and escalation that's going on, he's turned around, the cops are just yelling, 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 yelling. That she knows that if she were to move, anything could have happened to that young man. And unfortunately, that's the reality that most black men live in in this in America today. It's just a reality. It's not trying to call out anything. It's just what reality is. And I just deal with reality. But you know what actually pissed me off the most about that post? What pissed me off the most about that post is the toxic relationships that we seem to have between men and women in this country. Because when I saw that post, I just thought this is a beautiful thing. This is the kind this is a keeper. This is the kind of person that you want to have with you by your side. And as soon as I go into the comments thinking that I'm going to see a bunch of people saying the same thing, the biggest argument that was going on were women claiming the real question is, would he do this for her? That's the real question. OK, so the real question, the real statement is 99 percent of the time. I know Sonia Massey happened, but 99 percent of the time. That is not the situation that a woman of color is going to find herself in. 99% of the time, the police officers are not afraid or triggered by a woman of color, but they're triggered by a man of color. So 99% of the time, that's not going to be something that a man would have to do for his woman. But the fact of the matter is, every day that a man goes out of his house to work to try to take care of his family, provide for his family. He's doing that every freaking time he walks out the door. The fact that it got to be in that situation that these women were sitting here talking about, oh, would he do that for it? He does it every goddamn day. Every day he goes out on the street. See, there's one thing that a lot of people don't recognize, and I thought about this yesterday. Me and Angelina was coming across one of the bridges in Wilmington. I saw a police cop officer over there. Angelina's just talking. Da, 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 da. But every time I saw a police officer, I'm watching to make sure, is this police officer going to pull out behind me? Is he staring at me? Every time, every now and then, a police officer right behind us or something like that, she might notice. But every damn time I see a police officer, my antennas go up. I'm waiting to see what he's going to do. Is he going to come and harass me? That's an everyday moment for a black man. So when people question, is a black man willing to do that for us? woman, we do it every goddamn day. Every damn day we do it. We go out, we smiling, we laughing. We go out to a restaurant. I'm checking exits. I'm seeing which way is going, how to get out. I'm looking at who's walking in the door. I'm determining whether or not that person looks aggressive or not. How, what is our best avenue of escape? That's every day, every damn day. We go out to some of these restaurant bars or events. I'm looking at the people. I'm making sure that the police officers who are there supposedly providing crowd control or parking or whatever they're doing, I'm trying to make sure that they understand I am not here to threaten your life. Most women just walk along, walk along and just live their lives. But most black men, we don't, we don't. It's every fucking day. So when I kept seeing these people saying that, would he do that for her? Yeah, he does it every day. And the sad part about it, because it doesn't, it, it's the expectation is that we don't. The false narrative is that we don't. And then the fact that there is this battle between black men and black women is just ridiculous. We are, we have been set up for our own demise. We have been set up to think that the worst part of each other so that we don't come together, so that we don't build families, that we don't have great kids, that we don't work together to build 
financial strength in our families, that we leave legacies. We've been set up so much to not do that. And we just keep falling for the okie doke. I'm glad I got Angelina. Because if I had some of these women that I see who starts these frivolous arguments, I'd just go on, go be on the island, just be by my damn self. Just me and my cigars and have a good old damn time by my damn self. Because this is foolishness out here. But y'all have a great day. <laughs> and remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself. Because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.